Well, good afternoon. Had a cold front come through yesterday, and it's cold and windy outside. It's just not a good day to be outside. So I figured I'd bring you along, do a hatching time review, uh, or review on the hatching time setup here in front of you. Um, these here, let me look at my notes here, can go up to five high on the layer part, which is these parts down here. You get five layers high, and then you can put a brooder, top, bottom, middle. Either way, the legs all go fit into the same setup. So you can have a brooder and five laying boxes or multiple brooders and you know a couple laying boxes. Very versatile. Keep it all together. And some of the instructions are a little vague. So I'd look over them a few times and save yourself some headaches. And probably watch a video they have on their website. And so here's some of the stuff that it comes with with the brooder it comes as a kit or you can get it as a kit this is the main hose here for the onboard water I don't have it hooked up right now because they're not in the layer boxes yet but it does come with a onboard water system that you can you can put some in here but I like to use the little water and fixtures the standalones you can put them closer to the heat source away from it wherever you need to go with it so you go over here it comes with all your little feet your wheels and they spin and they lock pretty good there you have to move it around on a concrete surface or your floor or whatnot comes with these little trays little you put down in the bottom of your feed troughs like so, to keep them from sitting down in there. Uh, I'd, I don't use them because I want them to get all the feed they can because, you know, feed costs a lot nowadays. So let me spin you around here. We'll show you the inside. All right. Let's see. I just cleaned these out this morning, but you can't tell it now. But this one does have a onboard water source through the feed through the water tube and an onboard heater. Your thermostat's back here, right there, and it does have a built-in light on it as well. And then your water—it's hard to see with the light glaring. But there's your light bulb. And your watering is that red in the back back there. But when they're small like this, I like using the standalone waters because you can move them closer to the heat source or further away or whatever you need to do. Now, here's the thermostat set up. This, this is your main power supply. This is not for the light. You see, this, when you turn this off, it turns off the heater and the light. I wish it had a separate one where you can turn the light off, but it don't. So, and another thing is this temperature reading is in Celsius. If you're in the States, you're going to have to convert it. This is where the onboard water hooks in here and then goes down. And like I said, it's five, you can stack them five, six high. All of them come with your waters in this kit. One thing that I had trouble with putting this together was these darn anchors. Let's see, focus here, focus. They're not that well. They're built good, but they're not aggressive enough. Because it's got a little aluminum tube down here in the bottom. Right there, that holds everything together. And those anchors, once it starts getting tight, 
they will actually um, start slipping and turning. So I had to take a pair of vice grips, channel locks to hold the aluminum tube so I could tighten the screw to get this thing together. If they could put the, uh, make a different type anchor, that would be so much better. All right, so we're down here at the laying boxes now. I'm going to show you. It's got onboard drinker here. It's got a little bowl they can, they can catch underneath there as well. Um, I usually put them in here when they're almost fully feathered before they get going outside. Uh, their outdoor pen. And... It comes with these little black trays underneath so you can catch the poo and dispose of that in your compost bin or wherever you do with it. Um, it is big enough where most time it falls right through. And also on the quail uh, brooder part, it does have the little black mats in there for when they're like day old up until what, a month old when they start getting, when their feet getting big enough where they can walk on this in here. Uh, so after they get a few weeks old, you take the mats out, and then the box, the tray up here will start catching the poo and all. And I like that pretty good. It's whole, it's pretty easy to clean up. They do use the bathroom a lot, so you have to stay on top of it. Um, usually on my little boxes here, I do like three hens, one male. Uh, and sometimes I just do all hens and put my males down here on the bottom. Usually to keep the males from fighting so much, even when they're young, once they're fully feathered, then I put them uh, three to one, four to one, four to one max. But you have to wait till they get some size on them. Even if they are fully feathered, they still get out here. Uh, and these are Catornix quail. This is just a standard variety is what I've got. And overall, it's a good system. Just watch some directional videos on it and uh, invest in a rubber mallet. It can be a little difficult to put together. And here's their information, hatchingtime.com. And uh, we've got a Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and you can reach out to them if you have any questions or anything, but this was a kit I bought, and this is my third, third time with quail in here, my original stock from last year, and I've hatched off, I'm sorry, this is my fourth, second year is my fourth hatching, and it works really good, it don't hurt the feed or nothing, and as long as it's inside a heated structure, like if it's out in the outbuilding with no heat, no heater or nothing, that onboard heater is not enough to keep them warm. If it's, you know, 30 degrees, anything like that, that's just, it just don't do quite enough for like a non-heated building. But like a garage, a basement, in the house, a heated outbuilding, something like that, it should work fine for that as long as you can keep it uh, moderately, decently warm in the building house, wherever, then our onboard heater will do enough to keep them warm. So thanks for watching the review, and y'all have a great day.